G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. I've done many pie recipes over the last year or so, but there's one recipe that people just keep on requesting. So join me today as I make my version of a key lime pie. So to start off this key lime pie recipe, we're gonna start with the base. So in a food processor, I've just processed up our digestive biscuits, so we can use just any type of biscuits that you like, it really doesn't matter that much. If you don't have a food processor, what you can do is place them into a Ziploc bag and just bash them silly with a rolling pin. So into our biscuit or cookie mixture, we're gonna place in our sugar, and then our melted butter. And we're just going to give that a good mix through until it's well combined. Okay, next I have a standard size spring form pan. And what we're going to do is just give it a quick grease. Then we're just going to place our cookie mixture right in. Okay, just using the back of a spoon, we're just going to just move it out just to the edges. And we're going to lift it up just so it's slightly up on the edges just like that okay so once our base is done we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 185 degrees celsius for 10 minutes okay so now we're going to get started on the filling for our key lime pie so into a mixing bowl we're going to place in our egg yolks and we're just going to mix this around just for about say 30 seconds okay so next we have a can of sweeping condensed milk so what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly add it in just as it's mixing around so we can use the whole can. And we're just going to continue to whisk this through for another minute. Okay, so now that's been mixed through, what we're going to add through now is six tablespoons of key lime juice. Now if you can't find key limes in your area, it is perfectly acceptable to use normal limes. But because the flavor is not as intense, I recommend that you use the zest of one lime. So it's going to add that in as well because I can't buy key limes from where I'm from. And we're just going to quickly mix that through. Okay, so I have our base and what I've done is I've taken it out of the oven and I've let it cool down for 10 minutes. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to pour our mixture onto the base. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to return this back to the 185 degree oven and we're going to let that cook for 15 minutes. Now after that 15 minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to take it out and we're going to let it cool down for six hours in the fridge. And in six hours, it should be completely set and ready to serve. Okay, so I've taken it out of the fridge and I've also dressed it up with some thin slices of lime, which not only makes it look a lot better, but also adds a little bit of flavor too. Now this would definitely be one of the simplest pie recipes I've ever had to make. But enough of that, let's give this a try. Now that is fantastic. I don't know what it is, but there's something about the distinct taste of lime that really sets this off. You don't have that strong aftertaste like you would with a lemon, or you don't have a dull taste that you would with an orange. The taste of this is in between and it works beautifully. So even though this pie was incredibly simple to make, it tastes simply delish. So give it a go for your next party or get together because your guests will love it. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Please follow the links and subscribe to my Home Handy Hints channel. But until then, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.